The ETI is an important link between academia, industry and the government in low-carbon technology innovation. Our role is to bring together engineering projects that accelerate the development of affordable, secure and sustainable technologies that helps the UK address its long-term emissions reductions targets as well as delivering nearer-term benefits. The UK's energy networks, which enable the transfer of energy, require substantial investment in new capacity, technology development and innovation to accommodate low-carbon generation sources to ensure that they're able to meet predicted future demand. The core themes of the energy, storage and distribution programme are to look at adapting and developing networks to enable the delivery of a cost-effective and secure future low-carbon energy system in the UK and new energy delivery by developing and demonstrating new infrastructure approaches that support the energy transition out to 2050. Offshore Connection examined the connection of offshore energy to the UK grid system and considered the impact of large-scale development. It undertook analysis of designs and strategies to collect, manage and transmit energy back to shore. This research project identified and assessed new technology solutions that could enhance transmission and distribution capacity in the UK. It assessed the feasibility of technologies to provide improved management of power flows and increased capacity. This research project examined the feasibility, practicality and cost-effectiveness of capturing large quantities of waste heat from power stations and industrial processes, then storing it for later use. The resistive superconducting fault current limiter project's aim is to reduce the impact of faults on electricity distribution networks through improved flexibility and reliability. Fault current levels are a barrier to the installation of low carbon and other distributed generation. This pre-saturated core fault current limiter was commissioned into real-life operation in May 2013 at a UK Power Network's main substation in New Haven. This limiter's product design offers advantages of a non-superconducting pre-saturated core fault limiter with instant response and recovery, a small footprint based on established transformer design and build process. The Outlook project will provide data to assess different infrastructure scenarios and identify areas where innovation could help. It will provide data for the energy vectors of electricity, gas, hydrogen and heat over the period of 2010 to 2050. Isentropic's pumped heat electricity storage uses an innovative heat pump and engine which converts electrical energy to heat stored in low-cost gravel storage vessels. The process is then reversible. The project will develop and demonstrate a cost-effective 1.5 MW per 6 MWh storage device for a Western power distribution network site. The programme intends to look at the following aspects. Heat infrastructure development. To understand what options are available for lowering the cost of heat networks, asking how much of an impact they can make. Total life cycle cost reduction. Developing a methodology for assessing the life cycle costs and benefits of different ways of using, upgrading or replacing network assets. Engineering analysis of gas vector transitions. Determining what the practical engineering implications are for the UK to undertake major changes in its use of different gases for carrying energy. The evolution of future networks. Investigating how to progress the transition to future networks.